Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Senator Kennedy grills a literal psychopath and what he says is absolutely disgusting. Play the clip. You're here uh, at the request of my Democratic colleagues? No, sir. No, the, Dr. Supran. That's correct, yes. Okay. Uh, Dr. Supran, on December 14, 2023, you you tweeted in support of climate defiance. That's an entity that uh, the Brookings Inst Institute uh, has called a radical climate change group. Is that correct? Uh, I don't recall, I'm afraid. Okay, would this be the same climate defiance that you, I'm looking at your tweet, you, inter you uh, tweeted in support of them. Would this be the same climate de uh, de defiance that called uh, Senator Joe Biden, quote, a sick I don't know, but as I Would this be the same climate defiance that called Senator Lisa Murkowski a murderer? I do not know. As I said in my statement... Would this be the, the same climate defiance who, who told the CEO of Exxon, Exxon to, quote, eat shit, Darren, close quote? I'm not responsible for the statements of other nice people. Nice group you're and hanging I also do around with, answer. Doc. Here's what your tweet says. Quote, we do, in, in support of climate defiance, we do not do online petitions. We do not do NGO coalition letters. We do not do fucking bus stop ads. We chase fossil fuel CEOs and the politicians who do their bidding, and we do not apologize, close quote. Did I read that correctly? That is not my tweet, sir. That is your tweet. I'm looking okay. at it. Got, here's violence. a copy right here. It's right off your, uh, it's right off your website, Biggest Dallas. On October 31, that that 2023, you said this on, yeah. on Twitter. Quote, climate justice was coined by our movements to locate it as a struggle against genocidal racial injustice, colonialism, and apartheid. If your climate justice doesn't stand with the Palestinians against colonialism and apartheid, apartheid then your climate justice has no justice in it, close quote. Did you say that? I believe not. Here it is. <laughs> may, I, may, I, may I please see the documents? Yes, sir. And the, and the witnesses' documents there. Hold may them accountable. The senator, this form the of senator's time has expired, and there are other senators waiting. I've got a bunch more tweets. Howling. Thank you for your objective I'm advice. I'm sure you Doc. do. You can make uh, put them into a question for the record, and yes, I'd like to submit all of all of the good doctors' objective the chairman tweets is a and scientific analysis uh, for the record. That Thank will you. be done without objection, Senator Merkley. May I clarify one final point? Proceed. Um, these are not my tweets. These are retweets. This is an important Oh, contradict. you often retweet stuff you don't support? Is that what you're telling me, Doc? I did not say that I don't support this. I simply did not tweet it, which, as you were alleging. But you retweeted I'd them, like didn't to you? make very clear that this but form of character assassination them, is characteristic of the propaganda techniques you of fossil fuel. You entry. retweeted Senator it, Merkley. didn't you? Thank you. Are you going to call me a sick It's Senator Merkley's time. Look into his eyes. Go back and watch the clip again if you want to. You can pinpoint just seconds ago where he shows his true colors. This man is a literal walking psychopath and needs to be studied for science and kept away from society. This man is clinically insane. It's not just what he believes is insane. Look at the way he gets when he is being held accountable for his disgusting words and actions. Y'all, I have spent a long time on the right, knocking on doors, holding, uh, participating in rallies, giving out pamphlets. I have talked with grassroots Republicans for a long, long time. Never have which I have seen the level of left-wing Twitter rhetoric or heard it from anyone either secondhand or to my face. What I have seen in my brief time being on Twitter is rhetoric of literal violence being espoused constantly by these brain-dead, psychopathic leftists. Y'all don't understand how angry I am right now. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to give a shout-out to my friends over at Colonial Metals Group. 
Their experts understand exactly what they're doing with gold, silver, and other precious metals, unlike our current leadership, which is giving us rampant inflation, terrible Federal Reserve policies, a president that doesn't know what planet he's on, and of course, an out of control Congress that won't stop spending. We have to figure out ways to keep our wealth safe. And the best way to do that is to go over my friends at Colonial Metals Group, because their experts can help you diversify your portfolio, and they've got an amazing offer for first-time accounts. Free gold and silver IRA accounts, insured storage for five years, up to $7,500 in silver delivered directly to your home, and a safe to keep all that stuff in. So go over regardless and see what they can do for you and protect your wealth and your future today. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Y'all don't understand the volcano. I'm holding back a Yellowstone level eruption event right now because this man is out there condoning violence. He is out there supporting terrorism. He goes out there and thinks that he is doing the world justice when in fact he is the Grim Reaper himself. This man is a psychopath to the core. Read my lips, psychopath. And that is the woke mind virus that is slowly churning and destroying millions upon millions of young Americans being force fed through the education system. And it's not just the system. It's, an, it's all over Hollywood now. It has been online for years. Reddit and Tumblr have done more damage to young people in America than I think uh, any other site. That and Instagram. Yeah, Reddit, Instagram, Tumblr, and... Uh, well, I won't say it again, have done ir irrevocable damage to our youth. And we need to start asking ourselves, do we start doing something about this? Do we put our principles aside? It is a terrifying thing to ask yourself, are we at a point where we have to put aside our principles of our First Amendment in order to protect ourselves? This is not an easy conversation. But this man wants to destroy everything he can and take zero accountability for it and the democrats have given him a platform the democrats aren't just complicit with this they agree with it this isn't the 90s democrat party which joe biden thinks he's still a part of that party is gone and has become the republican party I and mean, after all republicans are just democrats doing the speed limit <sighs> this is deeply disturbing it's not about uh, the fact that this guy is a climate scientist. It's about the fact that he believes he's right when he is fundamentally incorrect. And furthermore, he retweets and reposts things and basically says, I agree with them and doesn't want to take accountability for the disgusting actions. Telling Senator Kennedy and Murkowski, I can understand if y'all are angry with Murkowski, I can even sympathize with your anger for Kennedy right now considering uh, his stance on certain bills. But if you call Senator Kennedy what this man has called him, you are deep down at your core a psychopath of epic proportions. And you need to reevaluate your life. A lot of these lefties sing this from their rooftops. It's disturbing. And I hope... I hope that they come to the realization that they are single-handedly making everything worse in this country. From our discourse, to our education, to the way we now handle people on the street. These people are destroying everything they touch. I hope it stops soon, but we're going to have to ask ourselves at a certain point, do we swing the pendulum or do we let the pendulum swing? That is not a pleasant conversation to have. Its consequences can be dire. We must be careful because these people are not careful. They are destructive and they will destroy you if given the chance. Do not give them that chance. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrol. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.